Hello everyone, hello. How's everyone doing today? Let's get rid of that. All right, so today we are starting Encased. Let's just hop to it, shall we? Now for those who don't know Encased, Encased is a CRPG, kind of a sci-fi CRPG, uh, but it's set in the 1970s. Or, well, it'll explain it to you with the game. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I don't sound so good today. I'm not feeling so good today. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it through the entire stream. Yeah. Let's turn the audio down just a little bit, I think. Music, maybe. I think maybe right. Let me know if that sounds a little too quiet. Profiles? Oh, yeah. Uh, anything else in settings? Let's take a look. Subtitles, yes. Okay. F5, F9, that sounds good. I think that looks good to me. Yep. New game. I think we'll just do medium right now. I don't know if we can change this throughout or not. Uh, medium difficulties for those who want to focus on exploring the game world. Damage dealt by enemies is 50% of the base value. Hit points of your character is 150% of the base value. Eh, maybe. Let's see. We might go a little harder. Your character's hit points, 150% of base value. Enemies never dodge attacks. Character can carry 50 kilograms more. Your hunger rate, thirst, fatigue, progression at 50% of the base value. Your character always gets first turn in battle. I don't know if I have now. Damage double enemy is 30% base value, negative 30. Hit points of your character's group 125%. Your character's hit points 125%. Base value. Each miss your character implicitly increases accuracy and next by 30%. A companion who is on the verge of death will remain in the state until resuscitated. Okay, I think we'll do this one. We'll do classic. 1971. We woke up in a different world where the Cold War ended along with the Vietnam carnage. All because of the dome. The Dome. A territory full of anomalous artifacts, phenomena, and organisms. We still don't know what it is. An alien city? Some kind of a testing ground or storage? Whatever it is, no living thing trapped under the Dome can escape it. Yet even this did not stop the research. The major powers created the Cronus Mega Corporation to develop and explore the Dome. Its secrets became a lucrative business. The Spire Station was built on top of the dome to export the artifacts and import supplies and personnel. The city of Crystal Sands grew at the foot of the dome, eventually becoming a major transportation hub. All this required thousands of employees, and there was no shortage of candidates. Romantics, pragmatists, and adventurers of all trades swarmed recruiting centers around the globe, seeking jobs at Cronus. You were one of those people. Us. In 1976, your application was approved, and you went under the dome towards the future. Whether a good one or a bad one, only time will tell.
Also, let me know if uh, the audio is out of sync. It didn't love to do this too. Okay, so. Dude. Now, I want to pick. Uh, you can edit your character and you can click wings that you want to be. And it determines your stats when you do that. So you got the blue wing. Let's see here. Uh, today, come out of construction uh, with a few thousand cars, no cities. So the blue wing is the blue collar workers. Silver wing determines a priority out of a thousand. If I had experts who can suss out the best solutions, every problem. Equip workers with the right tools to ship the necessary. Uh, let's see. It looks like the silver wing are like more of the management. A black wing, a security. The orange wing. More of the manufacturing, two cleaning services. And the white wing, this is one I think I'm going to be picking. Uh, it's, it often says that the time of great discoveries is now past. Uh, preposterous. Preposterous. I can't even speak today. Just like Galileo and Newton, white wing employees are launching a new era of science. So I'm going to be a scientist. They represent the best minds of humanity working diligently in laboratories. Equipped with the most modern tech under the mysteries of ancient civilization. So I get plus one to brains, which increases my mental acuity, of course, intellect. Uh, affects action points maximum. Uh, save action points, skill points per level, high tech weapons, medicine, tech, and science skills. This is what we'll be leveling up. Uh, but I want to pick a dude. picture no um go back and pick my picture because i don't want to be this dude head tight there we go let's change my picture though i'm gonna change that picture i don't want to be that uh, that'd be my picture i'm a science person Something like this, I think would be good. Oh, he might be silver. Go back. More of a sciencey guy. There's a sciencey guy. He looks nerdy. Good head type. Uh, I think that looks okay. What's well, this one with glasses? Hair. I think we'll just stick with a shaved head. Look at that. Look at that for hair. Hair color. Our picture shows I'm a little sandy blonde. That's probably kind of close. Features. You know what? We're going to have a beard. Oh, there we go. We can have glasses. That's close. Kind of close. I mean, the hair's not the same, but you know what? Everybody gets a haircut, right? Okay. So, White Wing. Uh, my name's not going to be Herman. Mikey, Mikey, plain old Mikey. All right, so I have a build set up. Okay, so I want brains ten, which is fine. I want perception eight. 
Uh, let's see here. I don't want to get rid of any of these right now. Do I need any psych? I don't think I need any psyche. Um, perception. Because perception gives you awareness, intuition, environmental sensitivity, effects, initiative, learnability, precision, evasion, light weapons, heavy weapons, high tech weapons, and piloting skills. In addition, high perception. Uh, gives a chance to notice something hidden and evaluate <laughs> the characteristics of the people just by looking at them. Um, really want much more. Hmm. I think that might be good for now. Guts, I think, is my health. Yeah, it's my overall health. So maybe we can get. What's fortune? Affects action points, critical hit chance, contraptions, piloting skills. Uh, we're going to lower that and get one more guts. Because I just want to have a little more hit points. All right, so 32 hit points, regen, learnability, precision. Da, 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 da. Deafness and fortune. <coughs> Okay. I guess okay. Abilities. Uh, so in combat applied. Combat got high tech weapons and psionics. Um I don't think I want psionics. Uh what do I want? Let's see. Okay. Sneeze. Okay. Well applied science or uh medicine. Let's get rid of psionics. Okay. Science, medicine, high tech weapons. Is that in here? High tech weapons is already selected. Tech piloting, survival, science. Okay, so we can leave it as this science, passing biology, chemistry, computer science, physics. Make life much easier. So, like, under science right now, I got analytical mind opened up. Perception plus three for the purpose of calculating the chance to see enemy stats. I also have virtuoso chemist. Uh, chemical damage plus 10%. Studies properties of toxic chemical mixtures and makes them more toxic. Yeah. And medicine. Uh, fatigue 100%. Restore 70% 70 70 of maximum health for first aid. And then this one, radiation or radionucleoids elimination basically gets rid of radiation. And then for my high tech weapons, this is what I want to focus on. Uh, not really a whole lot of other weapons. Might pick something later on. This is what I'm focusing on. Okay, so this one I get like laser pistols, plasma, electromagnetic rifles, so on. Base is brains and perception are the two things I'm raising up. <coughs> Alright, my traits. Uh, how many do I get? The one? Just the one. Uh, gun fanatic and observant are the two I want. I don't know if I get any more of these later on, but I only can choose one. Gun fanatic... You adore guns of all calibers and types. You own a solid collection of arms and spent a lot of time at the shooting range. But in real combat, you are instantly overwhelmed by desire to shoot everything at once. And you have to waste precious seconds to focus. So here I lose negative 5 initiative, but I get plus 40 to light weapons, heavy weapons, and high-tech weapons. Uh, the other one I wanted was the... what? The Observant. In here, that's a different, different thing. Or something we get later. Ah, right, so we're gonna get rid of you. I'm a gun fanatic. All right, so there we are. So my light weapons, heavy weapons are 51. High tech weapons, 101. Medicine, 57. Tech, 12. Science, 62. So these are definitely going to be raising up a lot of these. Right, let's start the game. 
Sticky, and I look damn sexy. Character creation screen where you'll create a protagonist to plunge into adventures under the dome. To begin, choose the name for your character. Select the wing. I've already done that. Why are you doing that to me? Um, that's good. Let's just look in here. So here's my character. Wonderful shot. Well, I unlocked all of these. Oh, we have perks. Maybe observance under this one. I think that's one of them. Observe it. Gives me plus uh, plus three skill points per level. So this is one I probably want to take whenever I can get this. Does it tell you what level? How often I get these? Inventory. What do I got? An active Selectron. Scanner. Portable device scans relics, dead bodies, mechanisms, and more. Favorite toy of the White Wing. And main means of obtaining valuable scientific data. The world under the dome. Connects to your garrison sinks with database. Right there. Our scanner. We got forty dollars. Combons, combons. A letter from Kronos. Data reputation. No factions yet. Plus fifteen. The White Wing. Map. Not much to see. Here's the dome. Are you going to show me everything? Tag skills. Okay. Yep, that's my quest. Right mind perk. One brains, 10 high tech weapons, 15 medicine, 15 science, 25. Biochemical resistant. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's right here. Story. Okay. Conversations. So I believe I want to talk to. You? A guy wearing thick spectacles thrusts out a sweaty hand. Monty James, Silverwing. May have to turn up the dialogue here. He glances down at your badge. Ah, oh, it's you. I found your file extremely interesting. And your CV, wonderful. I inspiring, really. Oh, I wonder if that's who I need to talk to. Just when I have the outfit. opportunity to look over the files of my future colleagues, I resist. I don't want to sound boastful, but silver level clearance has its advantages. Monty winks. Oh, did you see my file? Monty makes a <laughs> ring with his thumb and forefinger. Uh, you were number 63,784 on the waiting list, but you were lucky enough to get into the dome after only 16 months. Besides that, uh, zero, nada, absolutely nothing. You're a dark horse for both the Foundation and myself. Um, uh, how exactly did you end up in this wing? Admit that you see this as opportunity to participate in mankind's greatest experiment. Oh, I see. Well, if you ever decide to sew together a Frankenstein's monster from the bodies of dead okay. oranges... Okay, yeah, I'll turn it up. Be sure to let me know. The Silver laughs at his own joke alone. You got really quiet on this one. An uncomfortable silence rises <laughs> between you. And Monty abruptly changes the subject. He taps the narrow illuminator panel with one finger. 
Uh, look, there's a storm rising. The lightning is strange. Green. Should lightning be green? Uh, this is my first sandstorm. All right, so let's... Right, settings. Okay, so we're gonna turn this up, but some of the other ambient sounds. We'll see how that is. Let me know. The thin, pale young woman is sitting at the window, leaning against the illuminator. Hmm. The glass is slightly fogged with her breath. She That's turns better. to you. Her shiny badge reads Tomoko Kimura, physiologist. We've crossed the border. No way back now. Even traveling by the funicular wasn't so thrilling. The white presses small hands to her blushing cheeks. You were thinking, why have no children been born under the dome? I've got a working hypothesis, but I'm not ready to share it yet. She says softly, as if answering a question you didn't ask. Okay, good. Also, let me know if the audio matches my mouth. Because, yeah, it doesn't want to work so well all the time. After she sees a dark stain on the outer surface of the dome. Kimura peers through the glass in the direction you indicate. Oh, that's the aircraft that crashed into the dome during the first expedition. I believe that's a wing fragment, and there's some white canvas. What do you think that is? Maybe a parachute? The white shakes her head, bewildered. I just can't believe it. It's all true. We're on our way to meet the future. I meant by we've crossed the border. Kimura shoots you a surprised look. You're familiar with the details of the briefing, right? To put it simply, the dome is a selectively permeable environment. No living things can get through it. The white draws an invisible hemisphere <laughs> in the air. Inorganic objects may exit the dome without difficulty, but any living creature dies if transported back to the outside world. That's why we're all stuck here for an indefinite period of time. Are we trying to dig under? Well, the hypothesis, the lack of fer fertility in women under the dome is related to field activity. Kimura listens without interrupting. Okay, as thank, if you, Andrew, thank you, Thank you. It's quite possible. I would like to set up an experiment to test this in practice. She cuts off abruptly. You exchange glances with the rapidly blushing Kimura. Not in that sense. I mean, yes, in that sense, but it is science, you know? It's quite serious. You offer to help her hypothesis before it's too late. She blushes even more. No, thanks. <clears throat> what? Oh, Rejected. Stopping by the door's porthole, you watch as the ground slowly approaches. It looks brown-black through the tinted glass and smoky blue at the horizon. It almost seems like the clouds are pulling apart there. You scan the desert for any sign of the anomalies you've heard so much about. A flat, dark form hangs in the air above the horizon. It vaguely resembles a mushroom cloud but with a much denser structure. In the distance, you can also see a strange, apparently man-made wall rising from the sand. All the radio ads and TV shows were telling the truth. This place really was made for those who place their trust in science. Just as you're about to move away from the window, you notice a whirlwind beginning to form above the ochre plain. The gathering storm drifts unhurriedly above the desert, a crown of green lightning flashing at its core. Clearly no ordinary weather <laughs> phenomenon. It must be one of those anomalies. You freeze by the window, unable to avert your gaze. Um... Stay and watch. Yeah, stay at the window and watch the whirlwind until landing. The outlines of the landing site, blurred by clouds of dust, 
appear behind the greenish glass of the porthole. The capsule shudders as the braking devices engage. Come here. Come on now, or you'll miss everything. A cheerful man in a white lab coat grabs you by the sleeve. A badge reading Ludovico Nuzzi, <laughs> scientific analyst, export department, dangles loosely on his clean uniform, which still smells pungently of washing powder. Got a mustache. Look over there. He points upward with a sharp, wide gesture and hands you his field binoculars. You raise the binoculars to your eyes. Under fourfold magnification, the whirling cloud above the rust colored planes looks even stranger. Its core glows with flickering green light and flashes rhythmically, and that rhythm seems to form a complicated pattern. Nazi bends close to your ear. Fascinating. Do you want me to bring some filters? If we intercept the red and blue spectrums, we'll see something amazing. It's like a signal, some kind of message. Promising. Uh, that's what scientific analysis export department means. The scientist looks blankly at you, <clears throat> then down at his lab coat. Ah, this? This? He lets out a blaring laugh. Ludovico points at the building behind him. I work in Concord Station, categorizing relics. But my job is to classify them by rarity. Then the blues package them, silvers issue the documentation, and oranges move them to the cargo capsule. Just like the one you arrived in. Nazi points upward. Then the capsule takes the relics way up there, all the way to the spire, then to Crystal Sands by the funicular. They get auctioned off and turned into money. It's not like I endorse this, but we all like ourselves a good paycheck, right? Damn right. He offers you his binoculars once again. Do you want to have a look at the spire? It's amazing. But then you can look at the spire anytime. Now that sandstorm, that's what's truly amazing. Time to go. Now as he looks from you to the capsule and to the <laughs> landing terminal entrance. He flings his arms up. Oh, Miss Scusi! Excuse me, I'm so sorry. You'd better get going or you'll be late for check-in. Your colleagues are already inside, and the storm is growing stronger. Yeah, the storm is growing stronger. The white mutters in fascination, eyes glued to his binoculars, which is fixed on the spinning whirl of clouds. 